No, you're late, Lee. Huh? Don't try it, you're late. You look beautiful. You're late, you as usual. Amazing. You're late, as usual. You're late, as usual. You're late, as usual. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Moving. It's the way the red is on the white. I think. <laughs> and the dots above the eye. And Chris. Come, let's right. go, let's go. If I shit it on a picture, would you buy it? No, but you're not him. People bought shit from him. So hold on a minute. That's how he ended up in the tape. A little women. Yeah, can't you see all the... Look, seven bitches tossing their pussies before the divine dung. So basically, yeah. this is supposed to be like some deity. Um, yeah, yeah. And they're tossing their pussies at this deity. Oh, women are tossing pussies. That's not my life. It's the sound of. I think they took away the together. Yeah. I don't mm. think that's needed. What the no, yeah. Neither do I. Yeah. But I think you took that away and you've got all this lovely pattern work. Yeah. It's very clever, isn't it? Yeah, Definitely yeah. the faces with the, with the masks like covering them up. Yeah. Is that your ex? Yeah, I don't know why she's here. Yeah, true. Why has she got one breast out? What is it? Oh my gosh, she has. Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Blue eyes. White tits. White tits. It's political, but I don't get what it's supposed to mean. Pimping ain't easy. Yeah, that's Tiger so... Woods. Oh, yeah, shit. That's but that's, that's prophetic. This work of art was in 97, yeah. way before we knew that Tiger Woods couldn't keep... Yeah, to get to get in his trousers. Basically. Was he the pimp? I don't know. James Brown was a pimp. James Brown's a pimp. They should have Michael Jackson up there. Michael Don Jackson pimp. was not a pimp. He was a pimp. But, but would you have this in your house? I would. In the bedroom. Above the bed. I'm trying to work out what's going on here. I don't get it. Maybe it's beyond us. But in saying that, there is an element of creativity. That you can see why it's here. Yeah, definitely. In a way. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it may not be to our preferences, but there's something about it that makes you even stand and talk about it. Yeah, real talk. <laughs> I want that room. one. You want that one? Then again, you could have each one for a different room. So that that one's, one's the most stunning one. That one's a living room piece. Yeah. That, I'd say that's a bathroom. Our kid's bedroom. But this is my... No, you can't have dung in a kid's bedroom. Okay, but we could spray it for a reason. I'm going to be completely real. I think that the establishment mm. are enamoured by him because yeah. there are no other young black artists. Listen, I can't deconstruct what it means, but that's amazing. If I saw this first, yeah. I'd be like mm, grabbed by what he does. He's a triple beam dreamer. Bananas of phallic imagery represents a man's penis. What's this one called? Afro. It's called Afro. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. I love that. Maybe it is the point of the installation, but it gets better in each room. This one's sick. I like him. This has made me like him. Do you know a lot about art? No. Do you? No. I'm trucking right. After a while, I think I just stopped looking at the dude. I started looking at the pictures. The healer. Amazing picture. The image of Christ in the way, wax and the wings and the um, the light yeah. and the candle at the top of the whip. Other black artists might see this and feel more inspired to mm. do to do to get into it. Do you know what? There's a lot of controversial pieces in there. Yeah, I think so. I, think so too. I honestly do think he's saying F the establishment. Like what he's doing needs to be acknowledged because it hasn't been done before. So you're actually witnessing history. If you're a man that hasn't got a lot of money, this is a very good opportunity to take a date. And a yes, lady a free friend. date. And you yeah. look really cultured. And yeah, you look like you know what you're doing. Because <laughs> I know a lot of guys like free dates. Yeah. And then you go to Nando's afterwards. Chris Ottilly at the tape. 
it's a good look. And you're going to pay this time. Yeah, always, always, always. I mean, right, that was that was enough. Enough. no McDonald's. I don't really want to push the boat out because true, it is a first date, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think Nando's will be alright. Nando's will be alright.